History of Yashica. The company began in December 1949 in Nagano, Japan, when the Yoshima Seiki Company was founded with an initial investment of $566. Its eight employees originally manufactured components for electric clocks. Later, they began making camera components, and by June 1953 had introduced their first complete camera, the Yashima Flex a twin-lens reflex medium-format camera designed for 6x6 semi-medium-format film. While the Yashima Flex used lenses labeled Trial or Zar, successive models used Yashiko and Yashinon lenses. All of these lenses were manufactured for Yashika by the Tomioka Optical Works, beginning a relationship that would last for many years. Late in 1953, Yoshima Seiki Company became Yoshima Optical Industry Company, Limited. In 1957, Yoshima founded Yashiko Incorporated, a subsidiary arm in New York City to manage marketing efforts in the United States. 1957 also marked the introduction of a popular new TLR camera series, the Yashika Mat line, as well as an 8mm cine movie camera. During the next year and a half, Yoshima continued to grow, with 1,982 employees by 1958. Later in 1958, Yoshima changed its name to Yashika Company, Limited, when it acquired the Nikko Camera Company Limited. The Nikko acquisition was fortuitous, as the designs acquired assisted Yashika in expanding its product line into advanced 35mm rangefinder cameras. The Yashika Pentamatic, an advanced, modern 35mm single-lens reflex, SLR, camera with a proprietary bayonet mount, automatic diaphragm, offered only with the auto Yashinon 50mm-1.8 lens, and interchangeable lenses, was introduced in 1959. As before, Yashika continued to source its lenses from the Tomioka Optical Factory. Around 1959 to 1960, Yashika acquired the assets of the bankrupt Zuno Optical Industry Company Limited. Though a small company, Zuno had become known for limited production of a very advanced 35mm SLR camera, along with several high-quality, fast 35mm camera and 8mm cine lens designs and a proprietary bayonet mount lens system similar to that of Yashika Pentamatic. With the assistance of Tomioka Optical Works, Yashika adapted Zuno lens designs into its own 8mm turret cine cameras. Like Zuno, Yashika found it difficult to gain market acceptance with its proprietary SLR lens mount, and redesigned its SLR camera line in 1962 to accept the contacts slash Practico M42 lens mount. The new SLR camera was introduced as the Penta J. In December 1965, Yashika introduced the world's first commercially successful electronically controlled 35mm camera, the Electro 35, a popular rangefinder model that in various model subvariants eventually sold 8 million units. The company continued to expand its international markets. And in August 1968, Yashika finally acquired its lens manufacturer, the Tomioka Optical and Machine Manufacturing Company, Limited, later renamed the Tomioka Optical Company Limited. By this time, Tomioka was one of the largest and most reputable lens manufacturers in Japan. Sales of 35mm SLRs continued to grow steadily, and Yashika was quickly acquiring a reputation for both electronic camera expertise and high quality optics. 1968 also marked the year of Yashika's last major TLR camera design, the Yashika Mat 124, a popular model which combined some of the best features of Yashika's earlier TLR cameras. In 1968, Yashika introduced the TL Electro X 35mm single lens reflex SLR camera and produced it until 1974. It had a screw thread lens mount, the M42 lens mount, for its interchangeable lenses. It also had an all electronic through the lens exposure meter in the viewfinder using LEDs, the Gopal Square SE shutter, 
a vertically traveling metal blade focal plane shutter made by Gopal Corporation, used in the camera, was electronically controlled. In 1972, Yashica introduced the TL Electro 35mm SLR camera which was similar to the Pentax Spotmatic camera made by the Asahi Optical Company, Pentax. The TL Electro also used the electronic exposure LEDs that the prior TL Electro X had introduced as well as the M42 screw threaded lens mount for its interchangeable lenses. In 1973, Yashika the company began a collaboration with Carl Zeiss it called Top Secret Project 130 to produce a new, professional 35mm SLR with an electronically controlled shutter bearing the Contax brand, and called the RTS, for real-time system. A new prestige line of Yashika slash Contax lenses designed by Carl Zeiss were introduced for the camera, with a common CY bayonet mount allowing lens interchange between all 35mm Contax and Yashika SLR camera models. The F. Alexander Porsche Group was hired to complete an ergonomic and styling study of the new camera. The new Contax RTS appeared at Photokina in 1974, and became a commercial success. Yashika soon introduced several new 35mm SLR cameras beginning with the FX1, 1975, and FX2, 1976. Also in that year, in response to the success of the Contax RTS, Yashika developed the upscale Yashika FI using some of the features of the RTS, including its electromagnetic shutter release. The FR was capable of using the entire range of Carl Zeiss T lenses. In contemporaneous tests, the FR was described as being tougher in some ways than the more expensive Contax RTS, including better sealing against dust and contaminants. This practice of pairing similar Contax models with more affordable, less full-featured, but still high-quality Yashica models would continue for the next 10 years. The FR was quickly followed in April 1977 by the FRI and FR2. The FRI was an 35mm SLR offering even more features of the RTS, including an electronic shutter with both manual and aperture priority modes, and marked the high point for the Yashica brand in competing with Nikon, Canon, and Minolta for the semi-professional SLR camera market. In 1979, Yashica introduced a new inexpensive 35mm consumer SLR, the FX3, intended for entry-level buyers. Like all Yashica manual focus bodies, the affordable FX3 featured a CY lens mount that would also accept Carl Zeiss T lenses. This simple, lightweight manual exposure SLR camera sold well, and with minor revisions stayed in production until 2002. In October 1983, Yashica Company Limited was acquired by ceramics giant Kyocera. Initially, the merger resulted in few outward changes. The manual focus, MF, FX103 program, introduced in 1985, continued the pairing tradition of high-end Yashica SLR models with contacts, Contax 159mm, and was the first Yashiku SLR with TTL flash and full programmed exposure capabilities. After 1983, all Yashika brand cameras were marketed by Kyocera, Kyoto Ceramics, which also made newer Contax cameras. By 1985, the company was facing intense market competition from other manufacturers, especially Minolta, which had introduced a competitively priced and advanced autofocus 35mm SLR camera. Yashica eventually introduced its own autofocus 35mm SLR camera line that was overpriced and poorly marketed in comparison to its competition. In response, Kyocera gradually repositioned the brand as a budget-priced point-and-shoot camera line, moving production from Japan to Hong Kong, and discontinued high-end SLR camera production. In 2003, Konica emerged with Minolta Corporation to form Konica Minolta. In 2005, 
Kyocera halted production on all contacts, Yashica, and other Kyocera branded film and digital cameras. In 2008, Kyocera sold the trademark rights of Yashica to Hong Kong based MF Gibson Group, and is under its subsidiary JNC Datum Tech International, Ltd. Yashica's products from JNC Datum Tech International including digital cameras, digital camcoders, digital photo frames, portable DVD players, digital audio players, digital voice recorders, binoculars, mobile phones and SD cards. In March 2015, 100 Enterprises International Group Company Limited has been appointed as Yashica Global Sole Agent. Thank you for watching and your time.